Artzuka! Hey, I'm Jeremy. Let's Artzuka. <laughs> My dad's really proud of this picture I made him. And he's always pulling practical jokes on me, so I thought I would pull one on him. <gasps> Check out his hairy legs. Looking good, Dad. Okay, let's make this. I'm going to use some recycled chopsticks from my trunk of junk and my two pictures to show you how easy it is to make this practical joke. I've used a bit of cloth and glued this secret picture of my dad's hairy legs to the front. Let's turn this over and I'll show you a little trick. Now this needs to be a little heavy at the bottom so it will fall quickly when you're ready to play your joke. The chopsticks will work great as weights. Now place them on the cloth and fold it over, then tape it into place. There we go. Now I need to tape the legs to the back of the picture. Right about there should work. I'll grab my tape. I'll put a piece right here and a piece on the other side. Then just roll it up. Go. To keep it into place, I can add a little twist tie right here, and I'll show you how. But first, I'll just tape my secret picture of the legs to the picture so it doesn't roll down when I'm working on it. So I'll take my twist tie, and I'll make a little loop, just like that. Then, tape it right to the picture. There we go. Now I'm gonna take a couple of pipe cleaners and just twist them around like this. There's one loop there. And one there. Once I have these loops, what I wanna do is attach them to the fabric. So again, with my tape, just tape it right on there. And then this other one can go right about there. When you're taping these pipe cleaners into place, make sure they're not too far apart because we're gonna be using a pencil to hold these into place. Now I'm using a pipe cleaner and twist ties, but you can use anything that makes a loop. String would work too. And it's like a lock if I take my pencil and slide it through all three loops. And then, <laughs> When I pull the pencil out, <laughs> Dad's hairy legs. It's easy to add legs to your favorite picture. Start off by making another picture of funny legs on a piece of paper and tape or glue it to some fabric. I taped a pair of chopsticks to the back of the leg picture to add some weight to the cloth. This helps your secret picture to unroll quickly. Then I taped the secret picture to the back of the painting of my dad and rolled it up. You can use a bit of tape to hold the fabric in place while you work on it. Just take it off when you're done. To keep the legs from falling until you want to reveal them, make a lock using a twist tie and two pipe cleaners. Twist each of them to form a loop. Tape one onto your painting and the other two onto the back of the fabric. You put a pencil between them to hold your leg picture in place. Then when you pull the pencil out, a hairy leg surprise.
We have lots more great ideas like this at Artsuka.com. Artsuka! Art? With a little bit of scientific know-how and imagination, you can make magic. Check out my magic light gloves. <laughs> Let's make them. Start with an LED light that doesn't flash. You want one with the wires coming out of the back so that they're attached. It looks like this when it's in the package. You'll need two standard one and a half volt watch batteries. That's the regular size, but have your folks check to make sure. They need to be one and a half volts. We tape the two batteries together with masking tape, but first take a close look at the back of the batteries. One side has a plus sign, which means a positive, and the other side doesn't and that means negative. Once we have the two batteries, the positive and the negative together, put one wire from the LED on one side and one on the other, just like this. And hey, look at that, it lights up. When it works, tape it together. Tape one wire so it's secure, but don't tape the other one as tightly. Keep it loose. The tape only has to hold it in place. There's a small gap, and the wire isn't touching the battery. When you push down on the wire, it will touch the battery and the light goes on. To touch the battery, just squeeze down like this. If you have a little extra wire at the end, just fold it up and tape it up so that it doesn't poke your finger. Just like that. There. And now for the magic gloves. Start off with an old pair of gloves and slide the light and the batteries right into one of the fingertips. And that's pretty easy. All we have to do is just take the fingertip and just slide the tip right out like this. And this right here is the fingertip. I'm gonna take the light and just press it through. When I pull that fingertip out, look at that. And when I press down on it, the light goes on. If the light doesn't poke through the glove easily, you might need to cut a small hole in the fingertip. Make it so just the light pops out and keep the battery bit on the inside. Once you've made two of these, you can amaze your friends with your own magic light gloves. If you want to make your own magic gloves, this project is on our website at artsuka.com. Azuka! Art?
Hey, Jeremy, my name's Rude. I challenge you to make something from the top of a desk. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's see what I can artsuka. Okay, things you find on a desk. Sticky notes, clips, elastics. I know. It's a dragon! It's all in how you look at it. Mm. Huh. I know this looks like I'm snacking, but... I'm actually making art. I've been collecting all these shiny snack bags from chips, crackers, cookies, rice cakes, and they are great for weaving. Let's weave some. First, I need to cut these bags open and clean them on the inside. Now they can be kind of greasy, so maybe use some soap and water. Then I can cut them into strips like these. Now you can cut out long strips like that, or shorter ones like this. And you can even tape them together so that you'll have them thicker or longer. Now, to weave something, you're gonna need a frame. I've made a great big frame out of cardboard that I've taped together. I left some narrow pieces of cardboard in the middle, here and here, to help hold the chip bag strips as I'm weaving. But it will work without them too. Another easy way to make a frame is to use the lid of a cardboard box turned upside down. But for this project, I'm going to use this one. Now in order to weave, I'm gonna need some longer strips. So, here's one right here. I could just tape that into place. There we go. Now I'll add one more. That fits my frame. I need to tape strips like this on the whole box and put them really close to each other. Once all the strips are in place, it'll look like this one that I did earlier. And now I get to weave. I'm gonna use these smaller strips right here. They're the perfect size to go in the other direction. So to weave, I start by putting it over the first strip and under the second strip. And then I go over and then under. Then over, then under, then over, and then under. And then over and under and over. I'll just slide this to the end and do another one. If I started this one over, the next one has to start under. And then if I've done that, I'll wanna go over. And then I can go under, and then over, and under, and over. Okay, I think you get the point. <laughs> over, under, 
Now, once I've done this to the whole board, it'll look like this. Check that out. Now we have to take the weaving off the frame and we don't want it to come apart. So I'm going to add some duct tape to this side. Just like that. And then the same thing to this side, this side, and all the way around the weave. And when it's finished, we can carefully peel it off. Once it's peeled up like this, we can just fold the duct tape over. Now I'll do this side right here. There we go. And then again, carefully peel it up just like this. Once that's peeled up, we can just fold over the duct tape again. Once you've taped up all the sides and peeled it off, it'll look like this one right here. This would make a great placemat, or you can fold it up and check this out. It makes a super cover for my drawing book. Isn't that cool? And once you get the hang of this, you can weave just about anything. Hmm. Now I won't get any more chip crumbs on my shirt. <laughs> Weaving with chip bags is a colorful and delicious art project. After you wash the bags with soapy water, you can cut them into strips. You can make them longer by taping them together. I made a frame for weaving my bags by attaching some extra cardboard to a box I cut out. You can just use the top of a box for this too. Tape strips onto the box, then take another strip and weave it into the tape strips. Start by weaving over a strip, then go under a strip, then over, under, over, under. When you're finished, take another chip bag strip and do the same thing. But remember, if you started by weaving over the last time, you have to make sure with this strip you start by weaving under. Otherwise, your strips won't hold together. Once you've finished adding as many strips as you like, carefully pull up the edges of the strips and cover them with colorful duct tape. These weavings make great book covers. And once you really get the hang of it, you can even make something like this apron. All of this is on our website too, at artzooka.com. And now time for an Artzooka safety message. Remember, when using glue, it's a good idea to keep in mind which way the wind is blowing. An Artzooka Challenge! For my Artzooka Recycle Challenge, I challenged myself to make something out of a canister and a protractor. I put them in a movie starring Paper Bag. Come on, let's see what I made. I also put something else in my movie, a recycled plastic bottle. See if you can spot where I put it. Now, sit back and enjoy Cinema Artzooka. Here's the canister. And 
here's the protractor. Can you guess what it's going to be? It's a time machine. Now let's see it in a movie. Did you like my movie? I made a time machine out of a canister and a protractor. Hey, did you spot the recycled plastic bottle? Take another look at where I put it. I challenge you to make something out of a canister and a protractor. Be creative, anything goes. And when you do, take a picture and email it to me at the Artzuka website, artzuka.com. What will you Artzuka today?